from reconnaissance to targeted strikes. Military drones are revolutionizing modern warfare. And we're here to uncover Elon Musk's latest foray into this high-stakes game with SpaceX's newest project. In a world where space exploration is already fascinating and dynamic, the latest announcement from Elon Musk's SpaceX has everyone on the edge of their seats. The visionary tech billionaire has just confirmed that SpaceX's next big project is a military drone. But what led to this monumental decision? Reports have emerged that the Ukrainian troops defending against Russia's invasion have been using SpaceX's Starlink, a constellation of internet satellites, to great effect. As a result, this has prompted Elon Musk to delve deeper into the world of military drones. So what does this mean for the future of drone warfare? Will SpaceX's latest venture change the game forever? How will this impact the world of space exploration? Join us as we dive deep into this topic and explore what the future holds for SpaceX and the world of military technology. Stay tuned until the end to get a full understanding of the impact of SpaceX's military drone and what it means for the future of the industry. Let's begin! In a move that sparked interest and intrigue in the military and tech communities alike, the Ukrainian military has embraced Starlink access terminals with officers from the Aero Rotsvika Aerial Reconnaissance Unit crediting the terminals with enabling their drone pilots to successfully complete missions. The potential of Starlink's technology has not gone unnoticed by military officials in Ukraine, with plans being revealed to equip attack forces with interoperable drones. These drones could offer a significant advantage in the field, with the ability to complete complex missions and communicate with other drones in real time. Despite Elon Musk's announcement that he forbids the use of Starlink for long-range drone strikes, its appeal has only grown in the defense sector. Radars, a Canadian company, has already integrated Starlink technology into its Eagle Nest base station, enabling it to transfer data to its Eagle Eye military drone while in flight. The base station communicates with a control center through Starlink, allowing operators to command the drone and receive imagery from it. The potential for Starlink to revolutionize the world of military technology has not gone unnoticed, with NATO recently conducting a drill in Portugal that utilized the technology to link unmanned aircraft, ships, and undersea vehicles operated by allied forces. Additionally, Australia-based Unleash Live partnered with Starlink in December 2021 to enable remote drone flights with the company claiming to have successfully controlled the system's flight from 200 kilometers away, thanks to access to Starlink's low-orbiting satellites. As the race for dominance in the skies heats up, it's clear that the integration of Starlink technology into military drones could offer a significant advantage in the field. Canadian company, Arteris, made an exciting announcement back in November. They integrated Starlink technology into their Eagle Nest Space Station, which allows them to transfer data to their Eagle Eye military drone while it's in flight. The base station can communicate with the control center through Starlink, enabling operators to command the drone and receive real-time imagery from it. Artinus has even suggested that they could mount the dish on the drone itself, though for now it's only integrated into the drone's ground station. Vice Admiral Brad Cooper of the U.S. Naval Forces Central Command in the Middle East reported a NATO drill in Portugal in which Starlink was used to link unmanned aircraft, ships, and undersea vehicles operated by Allied forces. This allowed remote drone flights to be carried out with ease. In December 2021, Australia-based Unleash Live and Starlink partnered up, claiming to have successfully controlled the system's flight from 200 kilometers away thanks to access to Starlink's orbiting satellites. This is because Starlink's constellations can function in low planet orbit, less than 2,000 kilometers above the planet, unlike their competitors, who orbit at heights of up to 36,000 kilometers. This difference enables Starlink's signal to be significantly stronger, allowing for faster transmission speed while consuming less power to function. Starlink is also less likely to be blocked or jammed, making it very difficult to tamper with, except along the line between the terminal and the satellite. 
Starlink's ground antennas form a highly directional beam at the satellite it's using, and the fact that it has a much larger number of interchangeable satellites than geostationary systems means that if one satellite goes out of operation, another one may step in to take its place. This is a massive advantage over geostationary systems. In regards to drones, high bandwidth commercial satellite links could potentially be installed inside one or more while they're in flight, which would allow the operator country to manage them outside of its borders. While there are several security hazards associated with relying on Starlink for any military or nation, the fact that the terminals can be geolocated and potentially disclose the exact locations of the forces is one of the most crucial. A base station or flying drone transmit radio signals that can be received by enemy forces, employing high power antennas across a wide range of widely used bands. However, achieving this might be more difficult in practice than is indicated. On the other hand, Starlink terminals produce narrow beams, less than 5 degrees, and they hop around in frequency, making it hard to actually lock on a terminal. This is partially evidenced by Russia's significant one-year failure to identify satellites. Todd Humphrey's professor of aerospace engineering at the University of Texas notes that SpaceX uses geofences on user terminals to prevent their use outside of permitted zones. If the company discovers that someone is using the network in a way that's not in accordance with the user agreement or approved uses, they have the authority to revoke that person's access. This has the potential result in a country that depends on Starlink losing access to these services in the middle of a conflict if the commercial operator so decides. There's no doubt that drones have become increasingly important in military operations over the past few years. In the past, drone combat was mostly controlled by high-end precision strikes from American aircraft like the Predator and Reaper. However, the widespread usage of inexpensive models made in Turkey, Iran, or China have been a defining feature of the conflict in Ukraine. This change has had a big impact on who can participate in drone combat and how it's carried out. Drone technology has recently become quite popular, and the majority of advanced defense companies and tech-savvy consumers are aware of the expanding importance and utility of drones and UAVs. Now, let's take a closer look at the top most technologically advanced military drones for 2023. At number 10, we have the Boeing MQ-28 Ghost Bat Advanced Military Drone. This stealth multi-role unmanned aerial vehicle, formerly known as the Loyal Wingman, is being developed for the Royal Australian Air Force. Artificial intelligence is used to undertake autonomous missions independently while flying in support of manned aircraft. The introduction of the Ghost Bat, an unmanned aircraft with artificial intelligence, is currently scheduled for 2024-2025. It also makes use of a modular mission package system in the nose, allowing the entire nose to be swiftly removed and replaced with a different nose that has a different set of tools or weapons for a variety of missions. At number 9, we have the Tayak Sunger Advanced Military Drone. The Tayak Sunger arrived on the scene in 2021 and went into service. It's the first of two drones from Turkey on our list. The Ak Sunger boasts a ton of features, and thanks to its dual prop-driven architecture, it has an amazing range of up to 4,000 miles for endurance altitude and a deadly attack. With a maximum takeoff weight of more than 7,200 pounds, there is a trade-off, but it is beneficial. There are six underwing hardpoints on the Axunger, and each one can be used to mount the most sophisticated 7mm guided missiles or anti-submarine torpedoes that can be launched freefall. The Turkish UAV Axunger with 12 cutting-edge munition payloads has a 28-hour endurance range. At number 8, we have the Kronstadt Orion Advanced Military Drone. Despite being smaller, the Russian Kronstadt Orion is just as deadly. In order to attain a more compact design, the Orion heavily relies on having a low radar signal. This 2020 entry, measuring 26 feet from nose to tail, is also less expensive and simpler to build. With a typical payload of 60 kilograms, the Orion can loiter above dangerous territory for 24 hours, 
but its capabilities are far from inexpensive. The Orion is frequently equipped with heavier missiles, which makes it perfect for cat and mouse games. There are numerous drone configurations available for the Russian domestic and export markets. Russia has produced about 50 of these drones as of 2022. At number 7, we have the Baykar Bayraktar Kazilma Bayraktar Muas Advanced Military Drone. The two engine variant of the Baykar Bayraktar Kazilma, or jet engine drone, is now undergoing testing. One of the planned upgrades includes afterburner upgrades. Without using a catapult system, the aircraft is made to be able to launch from and land on an amphibious assault ship. The Kazilma distinguishes out thanks to its incredible airspeed of Mach 0.9, which puts it on par with fighter jets. With a maximum altitude of 45,000 feet and a maximum range of 930 miles, it was designed with naval use in mind. The Bay Systems Tyrannus is an unmatched combat aerial vehicle from the United Kingdom. It's fully autonomous and can carry weapons to a battlefield on a different continent. Base systems have emphasized a larger, more powerful architecture on a smaller scale, and the Tyrannus is comparable in size to a Hawk jet fighter. The drone has a 40-foot length and weighs 18,000 pounds. The Tyrannus is equipped with a high degree of autonomy and has a larger and more powerful architecture, making it an advanced UCAV. China's primary military drone is the Hongdu GJ-11. This small, stealthy drone has a variety of uses, including launching precision-guided missiles and deploying swarming air launch decoys or electronic warfare devices. The drone can be piloted by the Shangdu J-20 stealth fighter. The Hongdu GJ-11 has a larger weapon area, enhancing its offensive capabilities. It can launch itself from amphibious assault ships of Type 075. The Winglong 10, Chengdu WC-10, is an advanced military drone from China. It's a copycat of the General Dynamic Reaper series, but with jet power and some notable enhancements. The Chengdu WC-10 has a maximum flight time of 20 hours at 390 miles per hour. It's usually equipped with air surface missiles and guided bombs, but it's also unique in that it's equipped with small cruise missiles. The drone has the ability to find electromagnetic signals 200 kilometers away and can lift a weight of 12,500 meters at a maximum speed of 520 kilometers per hour. The EAD's Barracuda is an advanced military drone from Spain, Germany, and EAD's. This drone was created in 2006 as a reconnaissance drone, but can be converted to a fighter or strike drone. It has a payload of 660 pounds and a Mach 0.85 performance, indicating that it is advanced. The Pratt & Whitney J15D turbofan was chosen for this drone. In conclusion, these advanced military drones from different countries demonstrate the increasing sophistication and capabilities of unmanned aerial vehicles. They have a variety of uses, including reconnaissance, offensive capabilities, and launching precision-guided missiles. With ongoing advancements in technology, military drones will continue to play an important role in modern warfare. And that pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. What are your thoughts about SpaceX's latest venture into military drone technology? Share with us in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here which you'll definitely enjoy. So hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.